Hello and welcome to the final last haul of fall haul. <laughs> haul. Final haul of fall. <laughs> Either way, it's the last haul that I'm doing of fall products because in the land of Bath and Body Works, they always switch over around Halloween to all of their holiday and Christmas and winter scents. So ready or not, it's already beginning to be winter time. So this haul includes both a little bit of the tail end of fall products, but also a little sneak preview of some of the candles that have been newly released for winter. For those who don't know me very well, my name is Melissa and I used to be a part-time manager at a Bath and Body Works for about six years. And now I'm here on YouTube making, of course, Bath and Body Works content as well as cozy seasonally relevant content. So if any of those topics interest you, then make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and let's get started looking at these new products. So I think that the general consensus right now at Bath & Body Works and all the customers is that we're all a little bit confused about the coupon policy changing and return policy changing. And the main reason for my in-store visit was that I actually wanted to use up some in-store coupon pamphlets that I have. Now, I get some under my name, my mom's name, my sister's name, and then also my boyfriend Jose's name. So they all come to the same address, but they have different names and they're like different accounts, I guess. So I know with the new coupon policy changes, there was some concern for making sure that coupon fraud was being prevented and that if you genuinely earned the coupon, it only can be used by you. Um, so I was a little nervous about going in and seeing if I could still use my family members coupons So pretty much what happened is I was honest with the employee that rung me up and I said I have multiple coupons for multiple people But we do all have the same house address and I am shopping for them because I kind of do All of the main Bath and Body Works shopping for my whole family and I share my products with them and stuff So it's not just me I'm shopping for and she didn't seem to have a problem with it I think part of it is some stores are being strict about it some have have more information than others and I think not just the customers are confused but also the employees so if you are wondering if you're kind of in that limbo land of not being able to use your coupons that you normally use best rule of thumb is always be kind to the employees because oftentimes they don't know what's going on either I think Bath and Body Works on corporate level is being a little bit wishy-washy about what's going on they've been making a lot of confusing moves lately that a lot of customers and employees have been suffering through a little bit as someone who used to be an employee I can tell you that sometimes you get left in the dark I often found that customers knew more about stuff than I did before I did. So go easy on your employees if you're going in store and trying to figure out how to use coupons. There is a chance that they may not honor those coupons if they're not under exactly your name because of what they've been told by maybe their managers or higher up. Um, but just know that everybody is learning right now. My best advice is just to kind of take coupons with a grain of salt as everybody's learning. I was able to use all of my coupon pamphlets and pretty much what happened is when I did the set of coupons that had my name on it, I showed her my app. They connected the app to that specific coupon. But what I did to use the other people's coupons is I did not use the app and I just signed them up with their own phone number and email at the end of the purchase like normal. So I had my app and my Melissa coupons. So I would scan the app and then they would use my Melissa coupons only. And then next transaction, I would take the Jose coupons and no app and just scan the coupon. And then when they ask for phone number and email, just give his information at the end. But either way, I was able to redeem lots of free item coupons and kind of like $3 hand soaps, $3 bar soaps. So I'm about to show you that first. So with that in mind, I'm going to show you the body care first. And actually I had done a buy three, get one free travel size items in addition to a couple of items that were travel size body cares that I got for free with my coupons. So I had a free item coupon for a hand cream. And since I had it in the travel size fragrance mist, I got this white caramel coconut hand cream. I really love the way that this smells, but I will warn you if you're someone who likes fragrance to last a long time, this is not a good option for that. I find that after I put it on, it wears off very quickly and even when I was using it in the hand soap of this scent. I didn't even notice the scent after washing my hands. So layering does always help with longevity. This is especially good if you're going for more of a natural soft scent that isn't going to be too intrusive. I've been really into the idea of just simple plain vanilla scents lately. I've been just kind of craving that right now. And so this is frosted vanilla in the happy birthday packaging. It only comes in the travel size at this point, but I got it in the travel size fine fragrance mist. And then as a part of my buy three, get one free, I also got the shower gel. I did not see any moisturizers of this fragrance. 
In my opinion, the frosted vanilla happy birthday smells exactly like strawberry pound cake without the strawberries. It has that golden shortcake kind of smell and I really like it so far. Also as a part of the buy three get one free travel sizes, I got this pumpkin cupcake lip scrub. This has kind of like notes of vanilla and nutmeg in it. It's just like the body care but in a sugar scrub for your lips. And then I was able to snag some of the things that were on my wish list for my fall wish list video is these lip glosses for the Halloween collection that they had. They have sour gummy and candy corn. I also had a coupon for a $3 bar soap, and so I got this Ocean for Men that will probably end up being a Christmas gift. I usually start collecting up my Christmas gifts at this time of year, so that way I can have a nice hefty haul sent out to all my friends and family members. I had two coupons for $3 hand soaps, specifically the cleansing gel ones, and so I got Blueberry Donut. I have had this fragrance before, and I have enjoyed it. It's not specifically fall, but it's just a nice gourmand. It even works well in the spring. It has fresh blueberries, warm glazed donut, and a hint of cinnamon. I also picked up in the Gentle Gel a pumpkin apple, and it's got kind of this nice embossed texture on it. It's very fancy and pretty, and it is Red Delicious Apples, Fall Pumpkin, and Clove Buds. This makes for a great transitional fall into winter scent. Next up, I've got some full-size body care items, and the first one I got is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I actually had Pumpkin Pecan Waffles from last year, and for some reason, I only had the cream and the spray, but I did not have a body wash, so I grabbed the shower gel and pumpkin pecan waffles. This has notes of maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. So I find that this mainly smells like maple syrup and it does have kind of that golden crusty waffle smell too. So excited to try that in the shower. I've been meaning to try this one for a couple of years now that it's been a couple of years since it's come back for fall. And that is Bonfire Bash. So I have smelt this in stores many times while I was working there. I finally buckled down and did it. And I actually think this is going to be a great scent for my mom. My mom loves vanilla patchouli and kind of like those more creamy, spicy, musky scents, but not so musky that it smells masculine necessarily. She still likes that hint of kind of sweet along with it. And so she's really going to enjoy this one, I think. When I describe this one to customers, I kind of describe it as one of the classic Bath & Body Works scents, Marshmallow Fireside, except in body care form. So the notes on this one are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. Very woodsy, very creamy, very spicy, and smoky. So um, I did get that in the shower gel and the body lotion. I need to go back and get the fine fragrance mist. I didn't grab it this time, but I plan on getting it next time when I get some more coupons. The last of the body care that I grabbed was actually this white pumpkin and chai, another one I've been meaning to grab, just haven't gotten around to it. So this year they've branded white pumpkin chai into a faceted bottle along with those other faceted collection. You'll have to let me know down in the comments also, do you like the faceted collection or are you getting kind of tired of it? Because I feel like I'm a little bit over it. I think they're pretty and it's good for like gift giving, but it's not really my style. I like more pictures and stuff. So um, I kind of regret that I didn't get it when it had the pretty brown pictures and orange swirls and stuff like that over here. I'll show you a picture of it. That's okay. I mean, this is still also beautiful. It's very sophisticated. The packaging actually kind of helps me launch it into a fall into winter fragrance because this is kind of wintry packaging. And honestly, the smell, even though it's very autumnal, I feel like you could pull it off in winter because chai is still relevant in winter in my opinion. So the notes on white pumpkin and chai is cinnamon cider, spiced pumpkin, and vanilla glaze. Now I am almost certain, and I'll have to do a comparison a little later, but I'm almost certain that this is the same exact fragrance as pumpkin picking. The notes for pumpkin picking were also some type of apple cider, some type of like a pumpkin pie note, I think, and then they said hay rides to the patch, which is kind of a nondescript. That could be translated as like an outdoorsy air smell. Um, and this one says vanilla glaze, and the the other one doesn't mention any vanilla in it. From when I smelt this on my skin, it smells very, very similar, if not exactly the same as pumpkin picking. So I'm gonna find out once I wear it in its entirety for a couple of days. If you can believe it, I'm done buying fall candles. I feel like my last candle haul was all I needed for fall. I already had quite a lot from the previous year as well. I don't know, I don't feel like I was as hyped this year for the fall products that they have. I feel like fall just was really rushed and almost non-existent. I don't know, it was one of those things where I don't feel like that bad about it. Like I'm not upset about it really because all of my classic favorites I already kind of had in stock and then like the selection of brand new fragrances just didn't really 
really wow me. So um, I saved myself a little bit of money, I guess, because I just wasn't really interested. So hopefully winter is a little more exciting, Christmas and winter. Speaking of which, I got four candles when they were by to get two free. I think it was last weekend or sometime last week. I'm gonna show you a couple of the new Christmas candles. Like I said, I grabbed four of them, but only one of them is a brand new fragrance as of this year. So I'm gonna show you the three returning fragrances first. And we have our classic good old fashioned fresh balsam. You can't have a Christmas without it. So I am really digging this packaging. I love it. So it's kind of got some Nutcracker um, ballerina vibes going on with this whole line that they have. If you know me very well, you know I love cats. So I appreciate that there's a little cat on there. There's a Nutcracker and a Christmas tree. It's just very classy. So we've got woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, fir branches, and cedar wood. This is Bath & Body Works number one best-selling candle for Christmas season. Normally my store would sell out of the fresh balsam candles and it would kind of cause an uproar, but more in recent years, I've noticed that they've been introducing it more in the fall collections and also making multiple packagings and different design labels with the same scent of fresh balsam inside to kind of help prevent um, the masses running out of fresh balsam candles for the year. So we've got that. We have Sugared Snickerdoodle, also loving the label. We've got a dog on a park bench and we've got a snowman just so cutesy it's like little storybook pictures so this one is warm spice creamy vanilla and sugared musk this smells exactly the same as their sugared snickerdoodle from last year it's pretty much like a vanilla cookie dough scent with a little hint of nutmeg and cinnamon kind of mixed in there it's not like that red hot cinnamon it's more of like a dusting of nutmeg if anything this one easily could go in a top 10 fragrances for me and um actually peppermint marshmallow did and this is kind of the one that replaced peppermint marshmallow a little bit peppermint sugar cookie peppermint marshmallow in my opinion is a tiny bit better but i'm happy more than happy to take a peppermint sugar cookie any day <sighs> Crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. Once again, with that vanilla cookie dough, that sugar cookie base really helps kind of mellow it out and makes it feel more like a butter mint as opposed to like twisted peppermint that kind of like hits you in the sinuses really strong. Um, I also love twisted peppermint, but this is great for if you're wanting something more comforting. Here we've got like a little ballerina dancer in her living room. She's waiting for Santa, so cute. Okay, last thing to show you, and it is a brand new fragrance as of this year. We've not seen this one before, and that is sugar plum fairy we have had some different types of sugar plum fragrances i think there was a sugar plum swirl and maybe like a sugar plum dreams or something like that but either way sugar plum fairy we've got ballerina dancers on it lots of glitter and candies um, the notes on this one are sweet sugar plum candied cranberries and sugared orange so very fruity when i smell this one sugar plums isn't like the first thing that comes to mind i guess I almost wished that it were a little more sugar and spice kind of smelling with like a rich rum plum kind of smell. But honestly, it's very similar to Snowy Peach Berry from last year. And I'm okay with that because that smells really good. If anything, it is a tiny bit richer than Snowy Peach Berry and a little more sweet. It's honestly not a scent to me that screams Christmas. Usually I go more classic for Christmas scents like desserts and apple cinnamon and Christmas tree scents and stuff like that. While this fruitiness, I feel like it could be kind of pushed off more towards like a New Year's Eve kind of scent, if that makes sense. Usually the only fruity scents that I really associate with Christmas would be like an apple cinnamon or like a spiced orange clove kind of situation. Otherwise, fruity candles just kind of smell like spring to me or maybe like post Christmas, but still winter, like New Year's time. But yeah, I do like the smell a lot and I'm curious to see how it does burning. So you'll have to let me know if you've smelled this one yet and what you think. And that's a wrap on fall at Bath & Body Works this year. I feel like it came and went so fast, specifically this year, but you'll have to let me know if you're ready for winter scents or if you are also kind of feeling a little bit bored with the fall scents this year or if you were into it. Just tell me what you think and start some conversations. I think it's fun to chat with you all and I love seeing your comments roll in. If you can believe it, the next time I'm gonna see you is on Halloween. So I'll see you then. Bye. The final last haul of fall, haul, <laughs> haul, final haul of fall. The final fall of haul. No. <laughs> okay, start over. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I, I can't even. Hello and welcome. Today we are going to be going over, believe it or not, the final fall of haul. It took me at least seven tries to say fall of haul. No.